Hey everyone, welcome back to the Galloway Farm YouTube channel. Today I'm at my parents' house again, so I'm gonna help my brother and my dad plant a whole bunch of vegetables for the summer garden this year. Um, we've got some tomatoes, peppers, squash, cucumbers, a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna bring you along for that. So I hope you enjoy. So first we started out with our plants. Here we have our Amelia tomato plants. Then we have our peppers, we got bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, and banana peppers. And my dad also has some poblano peppers and cayenne peppers and some other varieties in the greenhouse. So when those plants get a little bit bigger, those can go out as well. So just like in our previous planting video of the spring garden, we started out by my dad bedding up some rows and then as you can see here my brother is spacing out where the plants need to go then we're adding water to each spot where the plant will go this is good old pond water and then we are putting in our plants so we started out with the tomato plants we did almost a whole row of these we left a few spots um, in case we want to add anything later on there's also more tomato plants growing in the greenhouse, so those could eventually go out here as well. Then we moved on to all of our pepper plants. As you can see, I'm trying to break up the roots a little bit. These plants got a little root bound in their containers. We also did almost a whole row of peppers. We had about the same amount as we did the tomatoes. So same thing, we'll just wait and see if there's anything else we need to add to that row later on, like the cayenne peppers or the poblano, one of those. So then we moved on to our seeds. So we have some Jackson Wonder or speckled butter beans and then um, the Ziploc bag has cucumber seeds, squash, zucchini, all of that good stuff. We started out with the cucumber seeds. We did about a third of a row of those. I think we put, it looks like six seeds per hill. And then we moved on to the squash and zucchini. So each one of those got about a third of a row as well we did about five seeds per hill of both of those and I am so excited about squash squash has got to be probably my favorite summer vegetable I love it I love it fried I love it just with some onions I love it um, in this cheesy scallop squash recipe that I have that I believe is on our Instagram page if you want to check that out but it's just my favorite um, so then we moved on to the Jackson Wonder or the speckled butter beans and they are so beautiful I love the colors of these. Now these we did six to a hill and these we did two whole rows. And then after the butter beans, we moved on to okra. Um, now these seeds were saved for my dad's garden in 2019. They look a little bit white and powdery because of a fungicide he put on there. 
Um, he said he used to have trouble with his ochre plants growing a little bit and then flopping over, so that fungicide seems to help. We also did two whole rows of the okra. Um, we just put quite a few seeds in each hill, which my brother was not too excited about because he would have to come back and thin them, but it's what I was told to do, so it's what I did. So we just finished planting this garden. This whole row right here is tomatoes. And then we did peppers, a few different varieties of peppers. And then we did squash, then zucchini, and cucumbers here. Then the next two rows are okra, and then the next two are beans. So now that we've got our summer garden planted, I'm going to show you just an update on our spring garden from our previous video that I will link right up here. So on this row we have our peas, you can tell they've grown a substantial amount. And then on these two rows we have our potatoes which go all the way down. They look awesome. And then here we have onions. Carrots coming up slowly but surely. The lettuce looks amazing. It's soon ready to be picked. Kale, and we're going to pick some of that today actually. And then the mustard, we've already picked that a couple times actually. Looks awesome as well. And then the spinach, which turned out really beautiful. And then here we have broccoli, some big beautiful leaves. And then I believe this is cabbage here. And then there's Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. And I may be missing something, but it all looks great. So that's going to be it for this video. I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked, but we were so busy. We had a lot to plant, but we did get it all done. Um, we actually, after I gave you the update on the spring garden, actually planted a whole nother row of the squash and zucchini and a whole nother row of cucumbers. So I'm planning on doing a video in the future on our spring garden harvest and summer garden harvest. We're also planning on planting some watermelon plants soon. So I'm going to also make a video on watermelons. So be on the lookout for that in the near future. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you always get reminded of our uploads. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.